Hello friends, I'm Manu. This is my new course on introduction to MATLAB. It is mainly for beginners and I will be going through all the basics of MATLAB for especially for beginners. It will be as simple as possible and I will be uploading a new video in regular basis. So don't forget to subscribe and follow. And if you have any comments, please do it in the below and I will be replying it as soon as possible. So let's start. So introduction to math. In this course, we will be uh, going through uh, mainly three things. First is slight introduction to MATLAB, then uh, window types used in MATLAB and then MATLAB desktop. What is MATLAB? MATLAB is an abbreviation for the matrix laboratory. So actually, it's because in MATLAB, MATLAB treats every variable as a matrix. Even a single data element is considered as a matrix of size one by one. So uh, it's a highly performance language for technical computing, interactive or non-trivial algorithm, development, data visualization, data analysis and numeric computation can be done in MATLAB. We can also use C and C++ language, C++ language in the MATLAB. So uh, MATLAB is an interactive software system for numerical computation and graphics. Even um, graphics can also be done through MATLAB. So uh, the typical uses of MATLAB is basically uh, a lot of uses are there. But uh, some of the importance are mentioning here. It's mathematical computation, algorithm development, data acquisition, modeling, simulation, and prototyping, etc., etc., etc. So a lot of typical uses are for MATLAB. <coughs> so here you can see uh, my MATLAB version is uh, R 2015B. Uh, here it's actually R means a release and 2015 is a year and B is actually the second release in 2015. So if it's A, it's first release, B, second release and so on. Okay, I would like to mention that uh, if uh, you are having an older version of uh, MATLAB, this layout will be different for MATLAB but I am currently using the 2015 version. Uh, 2000, I believe 2013 to uh, here on the layout is same for this, but the older versions have a different version. You can see uh, this will be the, this is a 2010 version. So it's a bit different. So keep that in mind. I'm here using 2015 version. So you can see <coughs> this is the main. Uh, window so uh, you can see in the uh, new version uh, there is different tabs are available like home plots apps shortcuts etc and each tab having different uh, menus there uh, they have uh, tried to show it like a uh, windows new versions uh, window so um, you see there are different menus are available and as you can see there is a path in this section which is the working directory of the MATLAB okay so that is the current working directory of the MATLAB and below this there is a current folder window is there that is this window will be showing each and every files within the this folder that is in this bin folder there are this much files is there but this is a default path for the matlab when you uh, install the matlab and open it you can see this we can also change the path according to our need if you want to uh, move this path to any other different uh, folder you can also do that then if we change the path then this current folder will show you what are the files present in that folder okay so that is the current folder then second is the command window this is one of the most important window in matlab 
usually what happens is in this window you can see there are two greater than symbol is there and there is a cursor is blinking this is termed as command prompt okay you can see uh, uh, there is a blink the in this command window we will be uh, typing the individual commands and executing its output immediately okay so let's do an example for this uh, suppose if i am typing a is equal to 5 and this a is the variable 5 is the value and i am typing the enter key you can see in the right side there is a value is 5 okay so uh, just leave the answer i will be explaining it later so this command window if i am typing another thing like b is equal to uh, 2 or something then i am pressing enter you can see in the right side the b value as sorry 7 okay now i am typing it as c is equal to a plus b and uh, look carefully that is i am not giving the semicolon here and i am typing enter as you can see the c value is immediately shown below that line in, in the above cases i have given the semicolon to suppress the value to be shown in the next line okay so that is why we are using the semicolon in the command and in the right side you can see each time when i am typing a variable or assigning a value to a variable this each variable is give shown in this workspace and in the below in the command history there are each uh, um, commands i am typing is coming here in the command history okay and you can also if you want to and go to the com previous commands you can type the arrow key up arrow key and you can surf what are the commands we are using okay so this is a <coughs> and uh, you can see if in the command window we can type the program and each line it will be giving the output if we want to write a bigger program usually what we will do is we use a script for that writing a program so if i am typing new script to this you can see there is an editor window is coming which is not saved that's why it's shown untitled and we can see like i am writing the same program here a is equal to i am uh, before that i am just clearing all the value if i am typing clear and type enter you can see in the right side the workspace is completely blank because i have cleared all the variables and i am typing the same as a is equal to 5 semicolon and b is equal to 7 colon and c is equal to a plus b and semicolon then if i run this you can see it will ask for to save the file i'm just saving it as some test and then i'm saving you can see and i'm running it so see in the right side the a value is there b values and c values but nothing shown in the command window because there is semicolon given so this is a, a simple example I'm not, I'm not going deep into this course and if you want any help with the window you can there is a help documentation is there or you can directly type f1 and see there is the documentation everything related to matlab which you have any doubt in the command or any other thing you can search this here it's just for the help everyone using this or you can directly type doc in the command window and type enter it will come here okay so you can use this help window always if you want okay now <coughs> As you can see these windows are assigned um, aligned in different way and if i want to uh, 
and resize or uh, change the window you can do it like this and if I want to arrange in a different way if I want command window in the top and editor window you can just drag it down and if don't if you don't want here to be dog you can undock this in the folder and the current folder will be in here you can minimize and work on that and also there is a, link, a layout is there and you go to default then the previous layout will be coming according to us if we want any other different layout as our needs then you can change the layout as our wish and save that layout with your name and that layout will be saved in this matter okay so these are the some initial points in this MATLAB uh, it's only just an introduction the other will be dealing in the coming videos thank you for watching guys